These are the streets of Boston this morning. The entire city on lockdown, schools closed, stores closed, mass transit closed as police hunt for the second suspect in the Boston Marathon bombings. The other suspect was killed overnight in a dramatic shootout on the streets just miles from Monday's finish line. They had guns, they had explosives. There you see the suspects right there. Suspect number one in the black hat is dead. Suspect number two in the white hat is on the run. We also see SWAT teams on the roofs in Watertown right now. We want to go straight to ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, in Watertown. And Brian, we know the suspects are brothers. They are from overseas. And now we have one name. We have one name, George, Chokhar Zardev, a 19-year-old uh, youth who is a native, according to uh, family friends of Chechnya, who's lived in this country since the age of seven. Authorities say they are beginning major operations to track him down, whether he's here in Watertown or at his uh, residence, which apparently is somewhere in Cambridge. So the uh, efforts are growing. We're seeing uh, fleets of cars heading out of uh, Watertown towards Cambridge. At the same time, large numbers of uh, paramilitary and National Guard and SWAT teams from all, the, all over the region here as they go door to door trying to find a man they call simply a terrorist, a real threat to the people who live here. And Brian, based on the timeline you just set out, this is a young man who's been here basically since 9-11. That's right. The last 12 years. Exactly right. Uh, it's not clear beyond that, but uh, according to a uh, family friend who lives in the area, he is described as a, as a nice young man. Uh, I think the people here, the law enforcement, would have a different version of events.